today we'll be previewing this Wimbledon White 1972 Ford F100. This model of fleet side, short box, with several tasteful modifications. You see the painted front bumper and grill there. Now this truck was painted less than two years ago as stated by the prior owner and she still presents beautifully. Also you see these 17 inch American Racing Torque Thrusts and all the trim has been deleted or removed. Also, looks like it's the glass has been replaced with smoked glass. The body panels are nice and straight. This truck was purchased from Oregon and shipped to the west to the east coast here. Nice thing about the West Coast, it's an arid climate. And I cannot see any evidence of prior panel replacement. So all the, the body panels are original to this truck based on my inspection. See again a custom rear bumper, dual exhaust straight out the back. A West Coast touch, if you will. A lot of people refer to these trucks as bump sides because of this protruding bulge down the side. Straighten this here a little bit. Oh, solid black back glass. Now the bed was also repainted. It is not perfect perfect but it is in excellent condition it has been stored under cover inside you see a little bit of evidence of use over the years which is to be expected again it is a pickup truck interior is also appears to be pretty new this loop pile carpet and gray that matches both the padded dash which is also a custom feature but the door panels and the seat also covered in the same material close photo of that on our website so you can decode that for yourselves. Now this is a three-speed manual shift on the column. All the gauges function properly. The odometer is showing 26,000 but I don't believe that to be accurate. You start it up. It has to have an AM FM Bluetooth aftermarket radio custom cup holders of this pinstriping here. Here and uh, open up the hood. 
So here we are into the engine compartment. And you can see this 302. Everything looks pretty fresh. I've got no documentation on the build. Four barrel Holly. See the dual reservoir brake booster. Excuse me, master cylinder. Now these inner panels from the factory were galvanized and they have been painted in this silver, it looks like base coat, clear coat maybe. Optima battery. Stock exhaust manifolds. So it does have manual steering and manual brakes. However, it's very easy to drive in the parking lot. You do need two hands, that's for certain. But on the highway, nice and easy. And you see the factory jack location as well. Now there is, let's see if we can find, there was a spot I wanted to denote here on the video. in a minute. See how nice and straight it is. On the leading edge of the hood. This white is difficult to tell but there is a little tiny almost like a crack there. Not sure what that is but it is there. Just want to make sure. See how nice and clean the drip rail is. This is where they rust if they're going to rust is in the drip rail and in the rockers. You can see how beautiful the door jams are. Factory spot welds. Let's walk over, look at the other side. See a functioning dome light. Nice headliner and matching sun visors. Someone took some extra care to really make this truck come together. At least that's what I think. I hope you do as well. Door is shut nice and solid. So thank you for joining me with this walk around video of 1972 Ford F1.